Hi YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're continuing with our Nintendo theme and having a look at the handheld consoles, namely today Nintendo DS. There's some really great games on the DS, some real crap ones too, but some really great games. So it's certainly worth having a look at. And playing on PC certainly gives you a very different experience of them. So, let's get cracking with some emulation. First of all, a shameless plug, this is a weekly series on the channel, so do consider subscribing to come back for more. We also do weekly and monthly PC builds as well for emulation and other games. Now, looking at some games, I have quite a few here on my folder. As ever, on a YouTube video, I won't tell you where you can find them. As ever, I'm sure you know the drill by now. There's often some helpful resources linked elsewhere you may be able to find guides for games and games hunting. But here are my games. Today we're going to be using Retroarch with a Dejumi, I think it's pronounced Dejumi, back end. Dezumi, maybe. Someone let me know in the comments below. Now I've shown you before how to, to download Retroarch. I won't go over that again. I'll leave a link to that PlayStation in 4K video which gives you that. So first of all, we're going to download our core. There we are, Nintendo DS Desmoomi. We've downloaded that very quickly. Now we'll just import our content. So we'll just go to scan directory, find the folder I have on my desktop. Here we go. <laughs> and we'll just load that in, scan directory. Pretty quickly done there. There we go. So now we have some games. We'll get on with having a look at a couple of them. Let's go back now to our newly installed Nintendo DS line. Load up Mario Kart DS. So we'll double click on that. Click Run. So you want to use Dezumi backend and click Run again. Here we go. Mario Kart DS. I have a passion for all things Mario Kart. Mario Kart is my default Nintendo emulator game. It's the reason I'm keen to have every Nintendo console available for emulation. So here we are. We'll go into options. Now we'll come back shortly to video enhancement, but first and foremost, I want to go down here to CPU cores. I have a six core, 12 thread processor. I'm going to go for four. I'll we'll just go down down to the bottom here just so we can change the screen layout. Now, if you go into screen layout, you'll find out here you can have lots of different variations because DS had two screens. Or we'll get to have hybrid top, which gives you both the screens on the side, but the main top screen or bottom screen, which you select with your R3 button um, in terms of resolution. So there you go. I have that set up there. That's the hybrid top setup, but you can flick through them by pressing, as I said, the R3 button. Okay, so because it looks really grainy, so let's have a look at the video enhancements we can do. Going back to options again, pressing L3 and R3. So now internal resolution, you see you can go up quite high here, but I tend to find it's quite laggy and quite, quite resource intensive. So I'm gonna start here with four times resolution, which I think looks pretty good anyway. Um, there you go. That's a significant improvement on what you were seeing before. We'll quickly get into some gameplay. Okay, so here we go. Yoshi to the rescue. Playing quite nicely, I think. Might feel a little bit laggy. I'm not sure what you think from on the screen now, I realize I haven't got FPS turned on. But it feels a little slow. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, flick through and maybe have a look at some um, changing that resolution down one. So go back into options. Now you can do this on the fly so you don't have to restart the game to change your resolution. Click it down to three times resolution, which I think you'll find, I've looked at a few of these different resolutions. It doesn't look hugely different to four times. So we'll just resume the game. Press R3 to get back onto the top screen, not the bottom. And there you go, I think it looks a little bit swifter. It certainly feels a little bit swifter, but it could just be my eye 
but, but certainly if you're emulating this, play around with it depending on your system, see what you can and can't get away with, see what you prefer. I really think once you get over three or four times resolution, you don't get a massive increase in terms of the way it looks. I mean, obviously, if you put it on a 65 inch 4K TV, you could be in trouble, but on a normal PC monitor, it still looks pretty good at three or four times resolution. So there you go, there's Mario Kart. Very playable, a really good fun game to have, and certainly one worth emulating this handheld console for. Now a bit of Sonic. This had a different layout, as you'll see on to the right hand side there. On the DS, the character went up and down between both screens. I think we're about, there we go. We lost Sonic there. So all we need to do is just go back into the option setting here and just change that resolution. Sorry, change the screen settings. So down to screen display. Screen layout there. And then change that back to the top bottom. And again, now we'll be able to play that game as it was as nature intended it. Now, of course, it's not perfect because there was quite a big gap between the two screens on the Nintendo DS. So you will see a, a period where Sonic disappears between the two screens, but it's very, it's only what it would have been had you had a big white bar between the two. So there you go. But again, it's a good game. It's a good game to have a bit of fun with and worth emulating, I think. Here's Mario World 64. Bit of a flick around here. Again, this looks pretty good in three or four times. I find this can happily run at four times resolution. I didn't see the same lag with this one. Um, I think it looks really good. And if, if you love the Mario platformers, this is a great one to have a go at emulating. And again, here, another Super Mario World on the DS. Again, this is four times resolution. I think it looks fantastic actually on on this enhancement, four times resolution. Plays again really well. And if you have a bit of Mario, why wouldn't you want to emulate this? So as I said, there are hundreds and hundreds of games on DS. Some don't really transfer across in the way that you'd like them to. Obviously, because of the like, pen and the touch screen, there are a few games that just don't seem to work on PC. But these platformers do, and so do plenty others. So I really do recommend you have a look at it. Well, I think we'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope that was useful. Do check out the Nintendo DS emulation. It's really worth a look at. Quite simple to do. So let me know in the comments what you thought below. If you have any questions or any suggestions about future emulation videos, do let me know. Always, always good to receive some feedback. And again, do consider, do consider subscribing. As we say, it's a weekly emulation series and monthly PC builds and lots of guides on NewKit coming up once we get our hands on those new processors and GPUs being released in October and November. So thanks again for watching. Until the next one, go well. <laughs>